information and how the U.S. government's working to help Mexico dismantle human trafficking networks and stop the flow of guns and fentanyl. U.S. law enforcement has confiscated the equivalent of 279 million potentially fatal doses of fentanyl at our southwest border. And our Mexican partners are also seizing more drugs, thanks in part to the collaboration that we have, training, equipment, even canines that we provided. Wins News Time 749. He was one of the most feared linebackers ever to play in the NFL. A star for the Bears. Yesterday, the great Dick Butkus passed away. Menacing Hall of Fame linebacker Dick Butkus, who played nine NFL seasons for the Chicago Bears, has died at the age of 80. His family says he died in his sleep at his home in Malibu, California. Butkus has beat us from sideline to sideline, and he's a tireless, tenacious roamer. The Chicago native, one of the most intimidating players in NFL history, retired at 31 and later acted in movies, TV shows, and commercials. Jim Crisula reporting. I remember as a kid, those Miller Lite commercials, right, with all the players, Butkus would say, I, I don't like to get filled up. I'm too sensitive. Man, that guy was, uh, he was scary, right? Well, you thought Spuds McKenzie was a party animal? Wait do you hear about Momo the monkey straight ahead. Moments like my daughter telling me a new joke mean a lot to me. But after being diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer, or MBC, which is breast cancer that is spread to other parts of the body, they mean even more. I take Ibrance, Pelbocyclip. Ibrance 125 milligram tablets with an aromatase inhibitor is for adults with HR positive HER2 negative NBC as the first hormonal based therapy. Ask your doctor about Ibrance and visit Ibrance.com. Ibrance may cause low white blood cell counts that may lead to serious infections. Ibrance may cause severe inflammation of the lungs. Both of these can lead to death. Tell your doctor right away if you have new or worsening symptoms, including trouble breathing, shortness of breath, cough, or chest pain. Before taking Ibrance, tell your doctor if you have fever, chills, or other signs of infection, liver or kidney problems, are or plan to become pregnant, or are breastfeeding. Common side effects include low red blood cell and low platelet counts, infections, tiredness, nausea, sore mouth, abnormalities in liver blood tests, diarrhea, hair thinning or loss, vomiting, rash, and loss of appetite. Wins News Time 751. Traffic and transit on the ones. We head back out to the roads. Karen Stewart. Well, it took long enough, but the eastbound Bell Parkway to stay with Lefferts Boulevard is gone. Uh, things are still slow into the area on the Bell Parkway in either direction, but again, it's been cleared away. Hopefully, it'll get better from here on out. We've got delays getting off the busy Verrazano Bridge. That's all it is. It's just a little bit busy. Getting on the eastbound side of the Bell Parkway and getting out into Bath Beach with some slight westbound delays there as well. The inbound Gowanus is now jammed from 39 Street into Atlantic Avenue on the Gowanus BQE eastbound combination. We're jammed on the Van Wick northbound from the belt up into Atlantic Avenue. We're jammed on the westbound LIE from Maurice Avenue in Maspeth out into the Long Island, out to the BQE, I should say. And the BQE westbound is delayed from Greenpoint Avenue out into Metropolitan Avenue. Over at the east side of the city, the southbound home where Madrage got delays past the RFK. The RFK is busy right now. And as we check what you need to know about the bridges and tunnels at the Hudson River, we're not back. We've got 20 minutes in at the Holland, 30 minutes at the Lincoln and the George. Alternate side of the street is in effect today. And we've got delays on the two, fives, and the four subway train delays in the Bronx. Traffic is sponsored by New Jersey Symphony. Alternate side parking is in effect today. Our next report is 801. I'm Karen Stewart, 1010 wins on 92.3 FM. Experience the magic of music with the New Jersey Symphony. Join them for their 101st season with concerts starting October 14th. Get the best value and flexibility when you subscribe now at njsymphony.org. Let's get a check of the AccuWeather four-day forecast. Meteorologist Dean DeVore. Dean, was it was it boys to men who sang We've Come to the End of the Road? That is the, the boys to men song. Good stuff there. Uh, yeah, the end of the road of the summer reprise, and now we're going into a fast forward to kind of a, a fall preview of a mid to late fall feel here as we get into the end of the weekend, early next week. We're looking at temperatures today to still be kind of mild up in the low 70s. It's sticky, it's damp, it's dreary low clouds, fog, extra time needed this morning, some uh, off and on bits of rain and drizzle, and that'll continue into the night, and tomorrow the rain pockets get a little heavier, some thunder involved, temperatures in the upper 60s as the wind starts to pick up, could be some localized flooding around the entire area and the other parts of the area the western and even northeastern suburbs have the potential for even some more problematic flash flooding that we'll watch tomorrow, <laughs> and then here comes some chillier air in for the start of, or the end of the weekend, start of next 
week for both Sunday and Columbus Day Monday. We're looking at highs in the upper 50s, low 60s with some sun at times. Right now, the temperature is 67. The low clouds, the fog, and the pockets of rain and drizzle going up to 72. I'm Mackie with the meteorologist Dean DeVore, New York's weather station, 1010 winds on 92.3 FM. All right, thank you, Dean. Listen, as they both limp into Sunday's action at 1 and 3, the Giants and Jets both looking for something to smile about by the end of the weekend. Right, Mark Rene? And Scott, on paper, Gang Green's got the better chance taking on the pretty brutal Broncos out in Denver. Zach Wilson will try to build off what he showed us in the second half against Kansas City. Be able to finally bring something from practice and the rhythm, the momentum, getting first downs. And this isn't just me, this is the whole offense. You know, together, being able to move the ball that way, I think, felt awesome. Meantime, Big Blue's got a date in Miami against a Dolphins team that put up 70 points on Denver two weeks ago. And defensive coordinator Wink Martindale joked that he's been sleeping like a baby. Every two hours, I'll wake up and cry and <laughs> go to the bathroom and try to go back and get some more sleep. Uh, I mean, that's, that's unbelievable. While Daniel Jones and the Giant offensive scored 46 points all season. Mark and A, 1010 Win Sports on 92.3 FM. Sounds like my sleeping pattern. Hey, they call him Momo. Apparently, he doesn't monkey around when it comes to drinking beer and having a good old time. Momo the monkey lives in Indianapolis. He went on a 24-hour adventure being chased by police. He broke into an empty house. He even chugged down a beer that he stole. Uh, he was finally nabbed by the owner's brother when he broke into a home that was under construction. They cornered Momo in the bathroom, and it was party over. No word on if he was taking a bubble bath when they got to him. He's now in the custody of the Indianapolis Zoo. By the way, Momo, species of monkey, fastest primate, 34 miles per hour. That will make you hard to catch. Amazon has lowered the amount you need to spend for free grocery deliveries. Bloomberg Money Watch is next. Imagine just two grains of sand. That much fentanyl is all it takes to trigger a deadly overdose. The powerful synthetic opioid is showing up in illegal drugs. You can't see, taste, or smell it, but there are ways you can detect it. Request free fentanyl test strips and naloxone now from New York State. Go to oasas.ny.gov. That's O-A-S-A-S dot N-Y dot G-O-V. No questions asked, no more lives lost. Two questions. Do you have a small business? Great. And do you have five minutes? Even better. You've got everything you need to start an application for quick, hassle-free financing from Capitus. We've helped more than 50,000 small businesses just like yours get competitive financing and the working capital they need in as little as one day. So, don't wait. Skip the red tape and get a decision today. Apply at Capitus.com slash radio. Go to K-A-P-I-T-U-S dot com slash radio. Bloomberg Money Watch now. Let's check back in with Steve Potus. Now, Scott, in a partial reversal, Amazon has reduced the amount Prime members need to spend on grocery shopping to get free shipping from $150 to $100. Now, Amazon raised the free shipping threshold to $150 bucks back in February from $35. Prime subscribers will now pay $6.95 for orders of $50 to $100 and $9.95 for those under $50. Non-Prime shoppers will still be charged between $7.95 and $13.95, depending on the order size and the delivery window. Now, as we wait for the September report on job creation and unemployment, S&P futures, they're higher by four points. NASDAQ adding 16. We have Dow futures moving up now by 42. Bloomberg Money Watch at 26 and 56 past every hour. I'm Steve Potisk for 1010 wins on 92.3 FM. To date, LifeVac, the only proven airway clearance device, has saved more than 1,300 lives. Arthur Lee is the inventor and CEO. All right, today's date is October 6th, and you can see the colors on the trees are starting to change. Experience. I knew I needed as her father to be able to protect her. We're here on Semel Avenue and River Drive in Garfield. We're commuting to work. Listening to the radio, specifically 1010 10 Winds. We're recording history for future generation, folks. We're listening to snippets of the news, archiving these commercial ads so future generations can hear what type of ads we listen to and what type of vehicles and styles of cars and models here on the roads. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this blast from the past October 6th.
2023. We see you on the next Recording History with Driving in the News.